Hello everyone, this is a video on the H3 and H5 era from the following boilers and uh, I'm reporting to you from the United Kingdom. At the moment it's winter, it's absolutely freezing. If your boiler is not working, you're probably using one of these electrocutors and running up the electricity bill. So what do you do? First of all, make sure you get a qualified gas engineer to do this work and always isolate the gas and electricity if you are one of these qualified engineers. Okay, so the first era, here's a video of it, it's an H5 era and uh, the H3 era looks very similar, it just says H3. You're probably pulling out your hair at the moment because it's not in the manual and uh, these are the three explanations I have for this uh, era. It's either an incorrect PCB pin header jumper combination an incorrect user control unit and PCB combination or an incorrect user control unit header combination. Now this is assuming that you just installed a PCB unit or a uh, user control unit. Uh, if you haven't and you actually did absolutely nothing to your boiler then you actually may need to just replace the PCB. But if you've gone ahead and you've done some work on your boiler uh, and you've incorrectly installed the PCB, this is when you get these errors. So, the first thing is the incorrect PCB pin header combi. This is the most common one, and there's many videos on this. Essentially, uh, a pin header is a little pin that you can find in the PCB, and you need to put a jumper on it in the correct order. So, here's the display unit, control unit on the left-hand side. If you pull it out, it looks like this on the right, and here's the PCB unit. And so on the bottom right hand corner, you can see I have this rectangle, which is uh, orange. That is where you locate the uh, headers, and the headers have jumpers in them. Uh, these essentially short these two headers, and um, you have three of them in my case. And these need to be put into a certain combination, because this PCB um, actually is a controller that can be used on any boiler, that Ideal makes. Nearly any of their, or a lot of their boilers use this PCB and if you put these in different patterns then it tells the, the controller which boiler you are using. So for an example, um, here is the manual that shows the different combinations and what combinations are for what boilers. I'll give you an example, an HE13 here or HE12 sorry, ICOS needs only one pin header and you put that into slot one. An HE18 here can only needs two pin headers, uh, uh, pin jumpers, you just put them in the, la the first two pins. Now for my case, I have a Mexico HE30, so you need to put one in slot five, slot three, and slot one. And as you can see here, in the new PCB I've installed, I have the three headers, uh, three jumpers put into the, uh, the correct headers. And so um, you can use a, plier, a piece of you know, pliers to put, a, put them in. If you don't have enough, hopefully you can steal a jumper from the previous PCB and put it into the new one. Or you can buy them online, just search PCB uh, pin header jumpers on eBay. So once you do that uh, and plug everything in, then the thing should start working. A lot of the time it just is this, simply putting these in. But the next thing is incorrect user control unit and PCB combination. This can be another problem. And this problem is because you may have bought a PCB unit, installed it, but have a very, very old display control unit. And so this display control unit on the left, which says H, uh, this is an old version causing an H5 error. And uh, I don't use the normal uh, instruction manual for this, but there's one called from the pack troll. Uh, website. It's a different uh, manufacturer and they uh, refurbish these things. They have their own manuals much better. So if you have one of the following, an, H, an EVO HEH, Mexico HE30, ICOS HE or EVO HE, these ones uh, had an upgrade to their display unit or control unit. Uh, and so when you replace the PCB, you also have to replace the front to a version 2. Now, how do you figure out if you have a version 2? Uh, well, here is a, a picture of the faceplate. I put a screw here. It's uh, a little animation, but underneath there is one screw. Just make sure it's off. Undo that screw and give it a yank. Uh, do it nicely just so you don't break it. 
and on the back you can see here an 033di underscore 9 underscore 9 2 shows that it's version 2 if you have that little underscore 2 and so you're good if you don't have this then you you need to buy another uh, PCB or uh, sorry another, uh, another control unit uh, and so you can find that on eBay or uh, you could buy the retrofit kit which uh, normally the professionals will buy they will buy uh, the PCB which comes with the, the front plate so they know that it matches it costs a lot more it's like 300 pounds um, and then it, it just works straight out of the box so also make sure uh, you have the right faceplate for your uh, your PCB as well so this one has one knob there are other ones that have two knobs and you can see that in the manual as well all right the last one and this is the most uncommon in my opinion incorrect user control unit header combi so there are more headers and it is on the user control unit on the very back if you notice there are some headers there is four of them and in my case I have mine set on location one on the very left and that's by default they come like this they have the pin header on one and you need to match this so that you can match it uh, and it turns it into the correct mode for your boiler and again there is the manual uh, that was given out by ideal uh, this is it here I don't really like it I like the pack troll one better again and uh, here they've got every single dis they call it display link that's the position of uh, where you put the the jumper uh, and so for my example I have a Mexico HE30 again which is in slot number one which is the very left slot just put the uh, jumper in there if you have no jumper in this uh, in the back of yours there's nothing preventing you from stealing it from a broken PCB or simply buying one on eBay uh, it, all these manuals are in the description and uh, so you can access all of them I recommend highly reading through them all it, it explains explains everything and um, I hope this fixes your problem if you have any questions you can put them in the comments and again I just uh, reiterate make sure you get a qualified gas engineer to do all these different steps that's me signing off thank you Hello, everyone.